Hi, this is Chris. Today I will show you how you can publish sensor data depending on a threshold and also how you can control a sensor using an MQTT broker. So I will publish the information to the MQTT broker about the light depending on a threshold and then I will show you how you can change that threshold using a subscription on the MQTT broker. In my previous video, I was publishing light and temperature data to an MQTT broker at a fixed time interval every 5 seconds. However, in most Internet of Things solutions, it's more interesting to know when a threshold value has been passed or when an interval has been exceeded. A real-world example is a wine cellar, which need to keep the wine in a certain temperature interval, usually between 7 and 18 degrees Celsius or 45 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit. And the important thing is not to know the exact temperature, but if the temperature has gone outside of that interval. In this lab, I will show you how to implement the logic of a threshold value, and also how that value can be changed using an MQTT broker. This means that the behavior of the sensor can be changed remotely, and this is a very powerful feature of any Internet of Things solution. I will use a light sensor to determine whether it's dark or light and then act on that. When it's dark, a LED will be turned on and when it's light, the LED will be turned off. As you can see in my video Internet of Things like lamp, the LED could be replaced with a normal lamp. A real-world example would be a welcoming light in front of the house or office that is turned on when it's dark, which could be at night or even when it's uh, bad weather. Here you can see the needed hardware. And in addition to the Arduino, you need a light sensor or photocell, an LED, a 220 ohm resistor, and to connect everything, you need a breadboard and five jumper cables that have a male pin on each end. To set up the hardware, you start by disconnecting everything from its power for source as usual. Then you connect the sensor to the breadboard and the Arduino's 5 volt to the power of the sensor. Connect the Arduino's ground to the ground on the breadboard and then connect the breadboard ground to the sensor ground. Connect the sensor signal, marked with S, to the first analog pin, which is A0, and connect the Arduino pin 13 to the positive or long end of the LED. Connect the negative or short end of the LED to the resistor, that in turn connects to the breadboard's ground. Here is the Arduino code, or sketch. And after the initial includes, Constants for the pins are defined on line 4. The MQTT client object is defined and created on lines 5 and 6, followed by the declaration of a number of variables on lines 7 to 10. In the setup, we set the LED pin to output on line 14 and initialize the bridge between the microcontroller and the microprocessor on line 15. Then we connect to the MQTT broker and set up a subscription on line 16. The eternal loop starts by checking if a one second interval has passed and if so, read the value from the light sensor on line 24, check if the value has passed the threshold on line 25 and if so, publish the new status to the MQTT broker on lines 27 to 31. In the callback function, which is called each time a new value is published on the topic that was subscribed to, the message or payload is read on line 39 to 41 and parsed on line 42 and then the new threshold is updated on line 43. I'm assuming here that you have an MQTT broker running and if not, please see my previous video called Internet of Things, why you need MQTT to see how a server can be set up and how to start the MQTT broker. And to see the published data, connect to the server with the SSH command shown here and you need to replace the key file that you're using and the IP address of your server. And then you run the mosquito sub command 
To start a subscription to the topic light sensor value where you can see the published sensor data. To change the threshold you can open a new terminal window, connect to the server with the same SSH command as above and run the command mosquito pub and this will publish a message on the MQTT broker that will be picked up by the Arduino which will use the value as the new threshold. So that's how you can publish sensor data depending on a threshold and also how you can control the sensor by changing the threshold using an MQTT broker. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things projects. Thank you.